This Earth background base, file this is information is a readme. Summary Earth of the background movie. We're attempting a rocket you may find it convenient to, to avoid sword interference during your investigation. We're going to outrun that flare. Select Separation a question complete. you would like to investigate. Fred. Then keep that question in mind as you, you explore Astrovision. In the 1930s, using a these the additional was still questions, science you will fiction. be able to focus oh, your investigation on the question you have chosen. But many fantasies of the past Here's one have method for investigating the question. scientific reality. And the future you may might be start your research this way. Jules to discover Verne, which resources back in the 19th will help century, in your investigation, imagine select space the question travel you want through to rocketry. Scientists Go to these always resources build on listed what's on the screen done for help in answering the question now, you have based chosen. On what we know today, I Look have to see to what you can learn from each of these impossible. resources. <laughs> but then, Try these resources for information. 50 years ago, I would have laughed if someone told Here me I'd be some working on the design resources. of a space station where people select will work and live you would like to investigate. before the year 2000. You will 2000. find out where you can record the data you now, will collect I'm during your investigation. Now, I'm working on plans to make that dream a reality. To help you with your investigation We're of this even question, planning put to the data you have collected in the data section of your reporter's notebook. Here are some Join suggestions for your final Quest report. News the media clip can be done on the computer. The other reports can be done on your own. I'm Joe Delaney. I'll be your guide as we explore the present and journey into the future. Our Select an expert from the boy, source file to interview for information. Really a good example to follow. Here's some oh, no, background information you. on Hipparchus. I'm I love the sci-fi opener. Yeah, Select a question a to ask Hipparchus. From here, you can also get bio like information saying, or go to another expert. Just because something can't be done today doesn't mean it will never happen. I can't wait to get started on our own Here's some story. background information you know, on Henry Russell yeah, and Eschnar Herzsprung. She's really sharp. How about you? Select Nick a question Moriah. to ask hey, Mr. Cool. Hertzsprung and Dr. Kind of Russell. <laughs> yeah, From I here, see. you can also get bio information well, or go roll. to another expert. Here's some background information on Edwin Hubble so and I'm Milton Humason. on near space. You'll be working with me. Select Jean. a question a to ask Mr. Hubble and Mr. Humason. First, I want to dig into From here, you can also get bio information station. or go to another a lot expert. Of people. Scientists, space industry workers, Here's even some, some background information on in Henrietta Swan Leavitt. Why? What's the big advantage? That's Select a question to, to ask out. Ms. Leavitt. What are the benefits? From what here, are the you costs, can also get bio thing. information or now, go to another issue expert. Is satellite technology. You mean like communication? Ah, satellites? so you want to get the scoop well, on the stars? Kind, but we'll get lots of information Why don't you watch the movie satellites? to see how Catherine is using the activity? Know how they work and what we use them for. These are the constellations Taurus and Orion. You can investigate really stars in these constellations for your research. We need to cover the benefits we've gained in our everyday lives. Take your research a step technology. further. Good idea. See if you can use the data so Nick, you've added to star on? stats Nick to discover the answer to space. one or more of these why. questions. <laughs> Combine your scientific you skills you with your journalistic curiosity. To the you can do it. This is Editorus in the constellation Taurus. The common name for the small years. cluster of stars is the Pleiades. Now, what I want to know is who figured that out. Huh? This is Zeta Taurus in the constellation Taurus. This is Beta Taurus in the constellation Taurus. Its common name Catherine. is El Nod. Right. This is Alpha Taurus in the constellation Taurus. Its common name is How Aldebaran. Can we the language? This is Epsilon Taurus yeah, oh, in the constellation poetic. Taurus. Take him away, Catherine. This is Theta good. Taurus in the constellation Taurus. This star is commonly project. called the Silicon Star. I'm right here. This is Gamma Taurus in the constellation hey, Taurus. This? this is hey, Lambda Orion in the We've constellation Orion. Prove. This is Alpha Orion in the constellation Orion. I say, Galileo, its common name is Betelgeuse. This is Gamma Orion in the constellation the Orion. See with his own eyes. Its common the name is Bellatrix. In the and sets in the other. It this is Zeta Orion here. in the constellation <laughs> Orion. Of course. Its Poor common Galilea. name <laughs> is Alnitar. And I say, gentlemen, that your eyes deceive This is Epsilon you. Orion in the now constellation Orion. The, uh, its common name the sun, is Alnilon. And I am the Earth. Now, if I this is Delta Orion the in the constellation it appears Orion. As if its the common sun name is Mintaka. When in fact I am moving in and out this is the M42 light. in the Does constellation it Orion. The same effect as if its the common sun was name is the Great Nebula in Orion. Good, Galileo. But if the Earth is this is Iota itself, Orion in the constellation Orion. This is Kappa Orion in the constellation Orion. Its common name is South. Your notions go against the truth. We've known for This is Beta years. Orion in the constellation Orion. Yeah, its common name but is Rigel. Before them. 
The ancients this is Pi 3 the, Orion the in the constellation Orion. Lit by the gods. <laughs> this is Eta Still Orion really in the bad? constellation oh, Orion. Of course not. But we're scientists and philosophers, Galileo. This is the Crab not Nebula. Primitive. It is the remnant of a supernova that was recorded by the Chinese and All others right, around 1066 One of these AD. Days you'll learn. All that's One left of the I once great star is a pulsar at the center of the nebula. Take a close Galileo, look at the you. color key wait. and be sure to enter correctly the complete number corresponding to the color of your you. star. Wait. Wait. Try again. Did wow. you watch the movie carefully? Did you correctly spell your predicted end state? Try this again. astronomy stuff is really getting to me. Excellent. Now plot the Sorry. other coordinate in the same way. Nick Good was work. To meet me half an hour. Now try the formula for calculating the distance based on the coordinates you've plotted. This place Check is your coordinates kind of and try again. Check your math ah! and try hey, again. Who's or there? Have the computer do the calculation. I'm Catherine J. Bishop from Science Nice Plus work. Who are you? Nice work. And where are you? Nice I'm work. I'm in a local group of galaxies. In the spiral galaxy Did you enter the Milky correct Way, numbers for apparent a magnitude, the small Milky m, Way, and absolute magnitude, Earth. capital M? Check your work I'm also and in try the planetarium. again. I'm the technician here. Can I help you? Who is this guy? Think you know your stars? Let's well, see. I've got a number of your questions. challenge is to identify I'm some of the major the constellations in our galaxy. The, the less the help universe. you need, the more points you your team is awarded. Series? Good luck. Who is First, this enter guy? your team name. No. I've got a specific angle. Next to. team, please. How do we know what we know about the universe? Try again. Like the instruments and technology that help us learn about You the can go to galaxies. the Atlas for help and, and then how our try again. Change what we know about the Next universe. team, please. Did you know, for example, that Try again at level 1. The sun revolved around the earth. Select a level of challenge to begin. Yeah. And I wanted to find out about the You're in the that solar system Atlas. Views. Select a member of the solar deadline. system you'd like to see yeah. or learn more about. Well, I've got a deadline. You're so in the stellar atlas. Can help me Select the questions. galaxy or constellation you'd like What's to see or learn more about. It's a projector, Miss Bishop. And it You're in the history of space of atlas. Select a time Have period a to learn more about its significance to our progress in space and astronomy. Miss Bishop. Let me Does Catherine's dream give you any useful information? If you go to the question file, wow. you may find the answer. Catherine begins her research Try in the planetarium. Work you can begin your own out. investigation of the universe First find out or where science our sun quest is located in the Milky using Way galaxy. astrovision resources. Then work on finding Explore out where the Milky the Way is located in the universe. Explore the questions you think will make a good TV news feature. We'll can look we forward to seeing your story on the air. Can we stars and galaxies directly? In my day, Think the stars it. and constellations were named Find after religious stories and historical legends. Find out what a bright line or emission spectrum is legends, and why it's called a Orion fingerprint for elements. Andromeda, or named for Investigating this question requires good, basic this journalism. Is Major, who were some of the key Latin people in history dog. who influenced current that? views about the universe? The stars had what common did they names do? Too. When for and example, where did they live? This one. How did they make because their mark? It's located in Canis Major, it's I've heard that science is a good star. predictor of the future. You might want to Sirius. explore that angle. That's Greek for glowing or scorching. Because you might want to collect in information sky. from the experts but and the film archives first. The atlases are available for extra information. The, the research the activities help you put all Alpha. this information together. So Sirius is Alpha you can collect major. some information by moving through the main activity screens. Oh, no, no. When I say the brightest Understanding star, the I spectroscope mean can help you answer this eye. question. No, size a does good not question necessarily have anything gives you a to chance to it. put together almost some everything you've learned from your investigation. To us. Use the information and your imagination. Very simple. The brighter the star, the lower if the, the largest number. body of matter is so the, the sun, known universe the and the smallest is the sky, Earth, has What's a magnitude in between? Of minus Collect data from the main activity screens to find the answer. The then draw a picture now to describe your findings. Time, the dimmest star the human is eye the brightest star in the sky the one closest to us? As low I hear as that six, you can collect data from the star scoop research them. activity to answer but that then one. Again, I have and how did Hubble and Hummerson collect evidence that the universe in is expanding? Towns, with all the lights and I other think we got something in the film archives on the Doppler effect. And no, it's not a science fiction four. movie.
That is the so-called Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. How about that? Have you taken good notes on the background reading and your interview, the and your interview with the expert? Yet this is the first time Why we've actually met. Why do you think met? our views yes. of science and the universe we are so closely tied to each other? Between color and luminosity. Uh, that's frightening. Based on your investigation, Sorry, Dr. what important advances do you think we'll make in the future? And luminosity Try adding to the timeline in your reporter's star. notebook. Show them the diagram. Think about the information you need. On this axis, then consult the expert you think might know that information. If you're not sure, calls. you can go to and the interview axis, page in each expert's folder and look at the questions. Type, Be sure you take careful notes terms, during your color. interview. White, red, blue. As you but collect you data on several stars, so you should begin to, to see patterns, relationships, just as a good anyway. scientist would, or a good reporter. Diagram, Look for relationships between, say, cycle. initial mass of a star and its end state, really or among color, temperature, and spectral type. When you've Our collected temperatures and spectra types for several system. stars, see if you can figure out the relationship among color, These temperature, and spectral type. This Recording your data in the appropriate charts in your reporter's large, notebook bright, may help you cool see the relationships more clearly. Giants, nor the smaller, dimmer have you completed the stats the on more. surface temperature for this star? When you have collected the data on the surface temperature and spectral type for several stars, see if you can discover a relationship among color, temperature, and spectral type. Use the reporter's notebook for recording data. After you've completed these data for a few stars, select a new star and see if you can predict its end state without viewing the movie. Here's a clue. A do you What'll see a relationship between the initial mass of a star and, the and its end state? Will collapse. The inner temperature have you talked to Hertzsprung and Russell about the HR diagram? That might help you understand flesh. this part of the research. Then the atmosphere of the sun will expand out to hundreds of If times you're not real sure size. of your constellations, uh, wait, wait, you might want to start diagram? out in level one. Uh, we've been Be sure to consult your reporter's notebook for spells. It could cost you points. This is the nebula, the gas cloud from which stars Next are born. Team, please. Most of these images represent the main sequence, but here... This is an giant. example of a sight screen. Select the file when tabs the above or the icons scene, below to learn more about what they are. Beyond our orbit. All the background file explains the problem but you've I been asked about to investigate. Yet. The question file contains you questions you can investigate. Uh, no, you can no, pick you've one done most of the or all of them. work, Milt. Uh, why don't you go ahead and answer? Okay. The resources file shows where They're to look for information to help answer Here. a question you selected. These images represent the data the file four helps main you investigate a question elliptical? by suggesting ways to collect data. Normal the reports spiral. file helps you These summarize your findings seen. when you're through investigating. This Barred is the spiral. experts icon. The experts will help focus on important parts of the problem at the site. And irregular shape. This Each is the research is icon. In the research activity, you can gather information categories. to help you answer also questions. Based on appearance. This is the, the reference icon. From galaxies Here you can find online resources lines. to assist your investigation. We discovered that most were shifted to the red end. So this is the background movie icon. Background movies give information right. about the situation at the site. The spectral lines indicate that the farther this is a away hot they spot. are, the by selecting a hot spot, from us. you can the learn more about the site. Expanding in all directions. Here you can find no, copyright information about the Someone program. Someone 10 billion light years away from us, we're the ones who from are From a list of helps, rapidly. you can select in ones words, that will assist you no with the material. No matter what galaxy you're in, all the others appear to be This allows you to leave the program. This takes you to the Videopedia. There are Here you can look up words or ideas that are unfamiliar. Over a period of time. A this period takes of you to the main intervals. menu screen. The from the main menu, very you can get intervals. training or go Anywhere to the site to begin your investigation. This is important this because turns the, the narration on that period and off. Of change in a check mark shows and that the narration is on. Gives us a way of measuring a star's With distance. this tool, you can play, change, Did I mention why they're called Cepheids? And add caption cards the first to your one media of its clip. kind that we studied was from the constellation Cepheus. This turns the grabber on and off. A check mark shows that the grabber is on. Well, the grabber the earliest allows you way, to create which was your still own media used clip with some from stills until or my video work with the Cepheids. 
was the parallax method. Here you can find out who An developed the program. An object can be viewed from two different positions. This is and Astrovision's angular main shift menu measured icon. against a reference From the main point. menu, you can Here select you training or Hold go your to the arm site out like to begin this. your investigation. Close your left eye. This now, saves your data. With your right eye, you can use save object to store your data when your doing thumb. research. Do you have that? Now, selecting an icon, right eye, then open choosing left open, eye. is the same as double-clicking on an icon. Do you see how the position of your thumb appears to have shifted? That's parallax. And that shift this is your thumb made. This creates a new file. The angle formed you can use by it new is how we measure things with this method. It's how we measure things when doing research. It involves trigonometry, something Hipparchus worked out long ago. The problem with parallax is that it's fine for stars within 100 to 300 light years from Earth. But the parallax shift is too small for farther stars. My work with the Cepheids contributed to our knowledge of distances in the universe. From the relationship between the period of change in brightness and the degree of brightness of these variable stars, we were able to determine the absolute magnitude or true brightness. And by comparing that with the apparent magnitude or brightness, the distances could be worked out. It was really our first method for determining vast stellar distances. Of course, I was just doing my job, but it's good to know that one's work is useful to others. I'm researching my feature on the great beyond, right? So I want to know how scientists get all this information on the stars. I mean, it's not like they can go out into the field, right? So Nick recommends that I talk to this astronomy professor, Professor Orion. It, it sounded, sounded like, like a simple, simple enough, enough question. question. What, what can, can we, we learn about, about a star from the light it sends back? back? Everything. <laughs> well, everything we can know about a star, we know from its radiation. The temperature, spectral type, distance from the Earth, absolute and apparent magnitude, life cycle, well, everything. That's quite a lot. Could you give me an example? Like how would you find the distance to a star? Well now that depends. Are we talking about a star that's reasonably close to us? Say within a hundred light years. If so, we use the parallax method in which using trigonometry we measure the amount of angular shift in a star's position when it's observed from opposite sides of the Earth's orbit. Now if we're talking about a star that's farther away we use spectroscopic parallax. Our formula for this is the distance in parsecs equals the difference between the apparent and absolute magnitudes plus 5 at the power of 10 divided by 5. Now, for distant stars, we use the RR Lyra and the Cepheid variables method. Well, I wasn't giving up. I decided to use AstroVision's research computer to help me find my own answers. And it's working. Did you know that our sun is going to end up as... Nah, I'll let you do your own exploring. It's certainly easier than talking to Professor Orion. See what you can find out about certain stars and then try to predict the future of our sun, a very important star to us. Stars are born, live out their lifespan, and die. The life history of a star is marked by an opposition of two kinds of pressure. One is the pressure created by the energy in the core of the star pushing the surface outward. The other is the crushing force of gravity pulling the star's surface inward. When these are balanced, a star becomes stable and shines steadily. As hydrogen fuel is depleted, the release of energy is insufficient to withstand the gravitational pressure and the core collapses but compression by gravity raises the temperature in the core and helium ash rekindles the nuclear fires. Vast amounts of energy are released and lift the outer zones against the force of gravity. The star is now a red giant. In its final stages of evolution, it is the mass of the star that determines its fate. The Sun, a medium-sized star, will remain stable for about 10 billion years, then expand, creating a nebula extending past the outer planets. After millions of years, its reserves of nuclear fuel will be exhausted. Its outer layers will have dissipated, and only a white dwarf star remains, 
no larger than the Earth. Slowly cooling to zero temperature, it will end its life as a black stellar corpse. When a star more massive than the sun reaches the red giant stage, the collapse of its core raises its temperature billions of degrees and triggers a spectacular detonation, a supernova explosion. At the center of the explosion, a residue of the star is crushed by gravity to a neutron core only a few miles across, but so dense that 10 billion tons of its matter would fill only a tablespoon. It spins rapidly, generating radio signals in its strong magnetic field. A radiation beam sweeping past the Earth is observed as a pulse. The star is known as a pulsar. An even stranger end is predicted for very massive stars. According to the laws of gravity, as presently understood, nothing can stop its collapse. The star disappears from the universe, leaving a black hole in space. Its presence can be deduced only by its influence on a visible companion star, distorted out of shape by the black hole's gravitational attraction. Gas, pulled off the visible star, circulates around the black hole and, in a dizzying plunge, it emits X-rays that can be detected in space. No light or matter can ever leave the intense gravitational field of this cosmic abyss. To travel beyond our solar system to the nearest star would require a journey of more than five trillion miles. Yet our sun is only one of a hundred billion stars widely separated from one another with time and space, but all bound by gravity and all revolving around the central core of our galaxy, the Milky Way. About a half century ago, our galaxy was thought to be alone in the universe. We now know it to be one in a local group of about 20 galaxies. And strewn through the vast reaches of space are more than 10 billion galaxies, grouped in clusters as far as our most sensitive instruments can reach. All the matter of the universe, it is believed, was once contained in a primordial atom, an unimaginable concentration of elementary particles. In one gigantic explosion, a big bang, the contents of this cosmic fireball were hurled outward in all directions. After a million years of expansion, the universe was an intense blaze of light. Then the radiation cooled, and after hundreds of millions of years, great clouds of hydrogen gas began contracting, and in time, evolved into the galaxies we now observe. The universe itself must eventually come to an end. If it continues indefinitely, the light of every star will, in time, be extinguished, and the galaxies will disappear into infinite darkness. But if gravity halts the expansion, the universe will fall back on itself, galaxies will lose their separate identities, stars will explode, and space will again be ablaze with light. Finally, all matter will be engulfed in a fireball, like that from which it emerged. From a telescope, a mirror projects a light beam to a spectroscope, an instrument which splits light into its component colors, a visible spectrum. The dark lines that cut across the spectrum band are produced by the radiation of the sun's interior shining through its atmosphere. Each line is the signature of the star's chemical elements, such as sodium, iron, calcium. It is this array of lines that forms the code which describes the properties and motion of a star. The sun is a sphere of hot, seething gases and surges of radiation. Most of the light that we get from the sun comes from a thin, bright layer which defines its visible edge, the photosphere. Above it, the chromosphere, a region of flaming outbursts of gas, extends through a transition zone to the thin outer atmosphere of the corona. Once thought to be a quiet layer of the solar atmosphere, the corona is now revealed to be a region of dramatic, large-scale changes and unexpected turbulence with temperatures reaching millions of degrees. Deep beneath the sun's atmospheric shell is the core, a violent nuclear furnace. Here, hydrogen is fused to helium, and in the process, some of the matter is converted into an enormous amount of energy. Radiating outward as a gas, it convects like a boiling liquid beneath the surface. The turbulent bubbling motion is visible in the granular cells of the photosphere. 
Sunspots, regions of intense magnetic fields, appear on the surface, disappear in a few hours, or grow and persist for months in a mysterious 11-year cycle. To find our way around the night sky, we need familiar points of reference. The ancients did it by inventing constellations, groups of stars that seem to form figures, the stuff of myths and legends. Modern astronomers divide the sky into boxes, like the grid of a map. Longitudinal lines are called right ascension, calibrations of hours, minutes, and seconds. Latitude, or declination, marks degrees north or south of the celestial equator. The index finger and little finger are the simplest measuring device. At arm's length from the eye, they measure off roughly 15 degrees against the sky. That's equivalent to 30 moon breadths, because the moon, not to scale here, fills about half a degree. The clenched fist equals some 10 degrees. Three fingers, five degrees. One finger, approximately one degree, or the breadth of two moons. Telescopes like these at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England, are the major instruments astronomers use to extend their vision through the universe. This great telescopic eye has the light gathering power of a million human eyes. It peers not only into the depth of space, but far back in time, since the light it now observes may have left its source when dinosaurs inhabited the Earth. That was the Doppler effect. Here it is again. Welcome As the car the comes great closer beyond. to you, the pitch this of the is horn the sounds screen. higher. From and here, we can away, investigate the pitch sources seems for lower. your feature story on the universe. This wave the files tank at the top of the screen effect. will help you organize your investigation. You can think of the water as the, the icons car. are astrovision resources. When water resources. moves across the tank, you can also the waves in front the of the source are compacted, by zooming in much like sound waves out. moving in front of the, the car, file tabs and making the pitch of the sound appear higher. And you'll get different hot spots, too. The waves behind the water are stretched out. So as the car moves farther, Farther away Use from this you, screen as the sound home waves are for your investigation. Out. Making the pitch the of the file car tabs horn at the top of the screen lower. will give you background the information and questions light is to help guide your investigation. As the source of the light, the icons closer, on the screen will the lead you to astrovision resources to help answer the color your of the object to change. You can also shifting enlarge more or reduce the view of the, the universe you see now on the screen. As the source of light moves you can select away, different hot spots and info points and use tools on each screen. Select the phone icon to call your editor for a lead. You can use any of the For tools more information the about how to get around to collect data vision, at this hotspot, go back to the training Record room. the data you collect in your reporter's notebook. You can use any of the tools available in the tools menu to collect data at this hotspot. Record the data you collect in your reporter's notebook. Select one or more stars and use the coordinates on this grid to help you pinpoint their position in the night sky. Record these coordinates this in your is reporter's a view of the notebook constellations and use the stellar atlas to as check your work. This is a view of the Earth and Moon as if seen from space. This is a view of the Milky Way galaxy as if seen from farther out in space. This is our local group of galaxies, as if seen from farther out in space. Welcome to AstroVision, where you'll be reporting on space or the stars. Select the training room to learn how to get around in AstroVision, 
or select your beat to begin your investigation.